those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Chief Miniman. I'm the Chief of the Turtle Clan, which is Passaic County. Um, we are basically about a mile, half a mile, not even like a quarter mile, from the beginning of the 500 acre Superfund site. Um, you know, if you know the history of the site, just really quick, you know, Ford had a company called Ringwood Realty. Uh, they lost the right to build executive housings and all kinds of community stuff up there. Uh, when they lost that right, they almost immediately at that point commenced to dumping toxic waste in yards, on the side of the road, in the mine shafts, and the air shafts, uh, open ground. I think uh, J.M. Barry, might, I think there was like a two acre area which was just paint sludge. Uh, when I saw that picture, it was really amazing. Um, so currently, then it was re it was listed as a Superfund site, delisted in 94. Uh, it took 12 years to get it relisted, uh, which was shameful in itself because uh, through Jan Barry and the record's work, they found that a lot of the toxic, most of the toxic waste was in the exact same spots that they had actually found it in the first time. Um, so we have issues there. Um, so it got relisted, I think it was 2012. Um, you know, and then we are here today with uh, minimal movement. Uh, they're doing groundwater remediation, uh, invest remedial investigation now. Um, they have 40 wells. Uh, one of the reports that just came out, out of those 40 wells, 39 tested positive for having one quart dioxane in it. Um, there was, I believe, 32 of those wells had um, readings that were over the limit for New Jersey's groundwater <coughs> limits. Some were as high as uh, estimated 3,600 times the, the limit. So um, they, they ranged everywhere from Peter's Mine um, all the way down to the mouth of Park Brook, which goes into Sally's Pond. So when they tell us that they find it at the mouth of Park Brook, we ask, is it in Sally's Pond? Their answer is no, we found it at the mouth of Park Brook. Well, <coughs> you, you can see where that goes, right? Um, so a big part about this is actually getting our knowledge that we have and the experts that we know and, and the people who are living here on the land and are directly affected that can give us that knowledge and then we take that and pass that forward. Uh, people like Dr. Chuck Stead working over in the town of Ramapo.